What's up guys, it's Cincy Bonready here, back with another episode of Austin 316 Showcase in WWE 2K16. Um, as you see, we are 34% through the showcase so far. So let's go ahead and head to the match that's coming up soon. These are all the matches we've done so far. If you want to check them out, I'll have the link to the playlist in the description below. We are now to this point where we are going against Dude Love a second time. This one, the WWE Championship is actually on the line. So it's a big match. And it's at over the edge. So we got to defend this championship against Dude Love. And Mr. McMahon is most likely going to be involved. So we got to watch out. We got to be careful. So let's get into the match. You still got to wonder who, if anyone, is going to volunteer to make sure that Mr. McMahon officiates this match fairly. Don't worry about that, JR. This man is as honest as the day is long. Honest Vince. Challenger for tonight's main event, Barat. No greater success stories has been written in the history of the WWE. This rags to riches story shows what can happen by following Mr. McMahon's example. Your number one contender, give it up for Dula. He's a corporate hip cat. He's got his teeth in. He's got his hairstyle. He's shaved. He's wearing a blue blazer. And he could be wearing the championship belt by the end of the night. Of course, he would suck up to the boss. I feel like every time somebody sucks up to the boss, they wear one of those blazers. I don't know what's so special about them blazers, though. This was the building in 1996 at the King of the Ring when the phrase Austin 316 was born.
Is The Undertaker here for yet another piece of Mr. McMahon, or is he here to volunteer to make sure that Mr. McMahon will officiate this match fairly? Well, this is not right. Look at poor Mr. McMahon. He is livid, and I can't blame him. That's a big surprise. So let's go ahead and start this match. Um, we got to start out by damaging Dude Love. Dude Love taking the early shoulder into the turn buckle. And that slam off the corner. I'm going to try to get him injured early so we don't have to worry about as easy of reversals so hopefully we can get the damage done pretty early but he he's got some crazy reversals slam right into that post I'm gonna try to slam him in hopefully er later in or right there we got him back for that slam to the turn the corner post Steve Austin, being pressed hard. so now we have to get him over towards the commentary table so we can grapple him and do that whole uh, thing I gotta be able to get up and get some reversals and get my momentum back first though cause he he just keeps slamming him against that that gate. I can't get a break. I'm trying to time my reversals correctly, but it's it's just not giving it to me right now. So luckily he rolled back into the ring, which gave me a little bit of time, but he's already got plenty of damage on me. But I I got I got him groggy for just enough time to throw him outside of the ring. I just gotta pick him up. There we go. Oh, dude, love countering the attack of Stone Cold Steve Austin here. This is nothing but Muskogee on Saturday night. Watch out! Watch out. Oh, Spanish announce table didn't go down, but our amigos are scattering. No kidding, Vamoose, adios. Austin is hurt. Austin is now in trouble. What? This is a reminder. That this match is a no disqualification. Hey, what is going on here? I don't know, but who knows what McMahon's going to do? He's insane. He's making up the rules as we go along here. Indeed, Austin is hurt. He obviously can't. Can he continue? He doesn't think that he can win without JR, you admit, uh, changing the rules. Down the middle. Yeah, and the Undertaker's here to make sure that he does. Here we go with a little taunting. He thinks it's going to help when he wants to torture Stone Cold. But I, I already gave him, gave him the finger to both of them. They both need it after that. I just got to grapple him. Oh, I got to do the, uh, never mind. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to roll him up, but it rolled him up anyways. I just got to grapple him. Got to pick him back up. What an abuse of power. Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon is a referee in his jacked up referee shirt. Oh, no, look at oh, Austin taking mm. a chance. Boy, that chance may cost Austin this match against Dude Love. Patterson and Briscoe on the outside. Mr. McMahon is the referee. How can a referee be so one sided? Look out here. Oh, man. The Austin and McMahon, they, they detest each other. And now Stone Cold Steve Austin out on the floor and in big trouble and here comes dude love again dude love on the outside austin oh neck breaker dude can't win the match on the outside can he austin is lying motionless and wait a minute this is a reminder in this match falls count anywhere I think that's Pat Patterson that's the announcer for this match but he's desperate he's desperate to get that title off Stone Cold he's 
he's changing the rules constantly so that's that's a big thing that's fighting against us but if we can get up and get some reversals we'll be good be able to get back in this match there we go that that's a big help give him a little separation let me get my health back hopefully or at least some reversals trying to get my momentum up so I can get him back in the ring actually because the next thing I have to strike him in the ring and I got to get him come back in here little damage won't hurt him though a little damage ain't bad doing a couple slams just to get him off his feet and pick him up where he's groggy and start striking him Mm, a DDT. It's over. It's over. No, no. Austin kicks out. The rattlesnake kicks out. And Vince McMahon cannot believe it. And neither can Dude Love. Dude Love still now armed with that steel chair. And here comes Dude. And oh, Austin. The counter the chair right back in the face of the toothless wonder, Dude Love. And now a clothesline. Dude Love's down. Mr. McMahon very concerned as he should be. Oh boy. That, the chair is legal. The chair is legal. And Austin. Wow. What a shot. That's the weakest that chair shot I've ever it. seen. A poor bagger with Austin's hey, chair hey. shot. And of course. Come on, ref. Come on, Mr. No McMahon. count out. What that's kind of just that's sad. That's count. that's not even fair. Man is hates Austin. Hey, watch. We tell him watch it's going to go. Dude love. He did my dirty work for me. Didn't even have to knock out my man myself. Austin and Dude Love square off. This continues. And his attack misses. So I gotta get it. I gotta get my. Uh, I already have enough, I've just had to um, get him on the ground so I can perform my signature to get my finisher. His strike, it's nothing but air. He's too good inside the ring to be on the floor for long. Come on, get in the ring. Thank you. Turn around. See, it doesn't let you turn around automatically, but <laughs> he tried to hit me with that chair I rolled out of the ring. And he's headed back in. I'm gonna try to use this chair against him. Slam right into the corner again. It works that time. I got my stunner. Going for this stunner move in the ring. Oh, looks like yes, it is a stunner by Steve Austin. Austin going for the cover should be all. And of course, come on, man. These old men <laughs> playing dirty. Austin in trouble with a man of a claw. Now Briscoe's going to try to make a count. I thought it's the Undertaker. The Undertaker. Thank you, Undertaker. He's about to chokeslam. Briscoe's going right through the announce table. Briscoe's body shot can't put Jerry back together. No way. Now let's see who. What's Patterson? Patterson trying to make a count. And now the Undertaker. That's what you get. That's what you get for trying to make this change this match, man. What's he gonna do next? So I gotta, I gotta get my, oh, I gotta finish her now. I gotta do another stunner on Dude Love. Oh, what a bruising blow! I gotta get that chair away from him first. This could turn real ugly, real fast. 
There we go. Damage him up a little bit because he's got a signature himself. So I got to get, get him off his feet. Injured enough. There we go. Charging up that finisher. That mandible call can't hold him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you sucker to Mr. McMahon. That's how you call, that's what you call using the boss to your advantage, man. Make sure he's unconscious and then get him to count out without even knowing it. I love it. That's going to be a great upcoming match. Despite the chairman's best efforts, Austin retains his WWE championship. When you put this son of a bitch on the line, it means your big dead ass belongs to Stone Cold Steve Austin. But Mr. McMahon devises a demonic plan. King challenges you, Austin, to a match in which clearly the winner will be the man who draws first blood on his opponent. A first blood match. This cane is your destiny. The rebellious rattlesnake wasn't backing down from any challenge. To Kane, I say this. I'll accept any kind of match you want to throw at Stone Cold Steve Austin. I bled before. I ain't afraid to bleed again. The following contest is the first blood match for the championship. Mr. McMahon's numbers proved too much for Stone Cold, but Austin would exercise his rematch clause for the championship the very next night. I want a rematch with Kane right here tonight. It's fine with me as long as it's all right with Paul Bear. It's all right with me. It's okay with Kane. Will you give me the rematch tonight? There you have it. That's going to be the next match. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.